What is up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon News Daily for February 11, 2019. I'm your host, Eddie McFred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to kept in the loop with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you liked today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and let's start off today by talking about some events that are going to be happening at nintendo new york around pokemon day 2019 now for anyone who does not know pokemon day is an annual celebration of the original japanese release of pokemon red and green held on february 27th various events are held around the world to mark this occasion including what's going to be going on at nintendo new york this year from february 27th all the way to March 3rd. Five days, they're going to be hosting events that is going to feature trade and play car activity events, Pikachu and Eevee mascot appearances, face painting, and most noteworthy, a Q&A with members of the Nintendo Treehouse, a development division of Nintendo America who help with Q&A testing and, of course, localization. Now, this sounds so cool if you are in the New York City area to actually go to these in-store events. Obviously, they're aimed for children with the face painting that's going to be going on as well as the EV in Pikachu appearances. The most interesting part of these events is that what might kind of lead to new Pokemon news is that they're hosting a Nintendo Treehouse Q&A for five days straight. Now, we do not currently know or have any info about what they're going to discuss or show during these Nintendo Treehouse events. And I don't want to call them events. They're kind of Q&A. It's going to probably be two members of Nintendo America. They're in house just answering questions general questions to the customers that are going to be in store we don't know if they're going to stream these events and as it stands now again i think they're just going to be talking about the let's go games the pikachu and eevee games the mascots are going to be there most likely you're going to have customers walking in to buy that game and these nintendo re representatives is going to probably be selling them on like the pokeball go plus attachment and stuff like that and i know that's not what you guys want to hear but being from New York and visiting Nintendo New York usually daily when I actually worked out there next to the store they would do these kind of in-store events all the time where they were spotlight a game and then host the event around it the last event like this that I can think off of my head is what they did for that workout game where they closed down the whole second floor threw yoga mats everywhere and then invited a whole bunch of influencers out to try the game and basically got them all sweaty on the second floor working out also, before Smash got released, they did do a in-store tournament where they had people come to the store, line up to play Smash, but also did it in a tournament style, and then some participants won like certain stuff and stuff like that. So I wouldn't get my hopes up on new news, but it could happen because there is rumors that are flying around about a Nintendo Direct that's supposed to be happening in two days' time on the 13th. So what I think may be happening, may be happening we might get a small glimpse of the 2019 Pokemon games there at the Nintendo Direct. And if that does happen, that would lead the possibility to them actually having this QA, these five days of QA around the brand new Pokemon games. If it is going to be something that is going to be complex, that they're going to want to explain to customers and stuff like that. But the big part about it is that when they are going to stream the event, they announce it ahead of time. Nintendo always does this, even if it's down to their little competitions that they are going to stream or if it's something like the Nintendo Treehouse after the E3 event, they'll let us know that, hey, yo, they're going to be streaming this Nintendo Treehouse event. The thing is, they haven't let us know that they are going to do that from Nintendo NYC. That is kind of weird because also being inside of Nintendo NYC, the space isn't kind of set up. Now, granted, they could set up the space for a streaming live stream event being held inside, but we haven't had a live stream event there before.
war. They don't stream the direct stare. They just throw it up on the TV. People watch and people record and then post their reactions later. There's nothing really live going on in that place. And I've always there. The internet always kind of sucks at Rockefeller Center. There's too many people walking around and stuff like that. So I am wondering what exactly this QA is going to actually entail. And hopefully it does lead to something that is new for the new games. But for my money right now, I will put my money on it being just the Let's Go games. Either way, let me know what you guys think about these Nintendo New York in-store Pokemon Day events in the comment section below. Now moving on to some Pokemon VGC news. This is coming from Cerebi.net. I'm going to have a link in the description to the website below. It says the Pokemon Company International has confirmed the full location of the upcoming 2019 European International Championship. Previously, we have been only given the city and date of Berlin in Germany from April 26th to April 28th. But today, the Pokemon Company International has confirmed that the event will take place at a Instar Berlin Hotel and Congress Center. This event will include a video game championship tournament, a trading card game tournament, and a Pokemon tournament DX World Championship qualifier. Now, moving on to some Pokemon Go news about the February Pokemon Go Community Day event. During the full day, not just a three hour window, you'll be able to earn up to 10 Sinnoh Stone, five from trainer battles, and then another five from when you practice the team leaders inside of the Pokemon Go app. Now this is an increase from the previous stated maximum of five that was supposed to be given out during this event. So this is kind of epic, giving a player not only a way to grab these Sinnoh Stones, but making sure players have enough to evolve Ponswine into Mamoswine during this event. I personally might just evolve one, one that I'm probably going to find shiny, and then evolve other Pokemon. Pokemon with the Shinnel Stones because God knows I need Shinnel Stones. Let me know what you're going to do with your 10 free Shinnel Stones in the comment section below. And now before we finish today's video, let's go over some new leaks from Pokemon Go via Charles on Twitter. I'm going to have his Twitter in the description below. Please go click on his Twitter and give him a follow if you want to keep updated with leaks on Twitter. It says, now Charles has found new Spinda forms with a heart on his head and then a shiny variant of the same form but the heart is broken on his head now this has been added to the game's code and might be hinting to the fact that maybe we're gonna be getting this new form for Valentine's Day on the 14th or maybe we're gonna get an event in the same vein as the Feebas event where we're gonna have to go to Pokestops spin a Pokestop get a Pokemon research task complete the task and then within three hours be able to get a task that will grant Grant us a shiny variant of that Pokemon. I'm hoping we don't get that because if we do, then that shiny variant is probably going to be very hard to find. People are going to complain about this event. Again, it being only three hours gives you a limited time to actually go to Pokestops and complete field research tasks, especially if they tell us that we have to be doing stuff that may take literally all day. So what I'm hoping is that while yes, this does mean we might get a release of the spender forms i do hope they if they do this event and giving the spender form research task out more frequently that is not just for the three hours that is last all day so it can give players all day to go to pokestops and rack up on these spender quests now let me know what your thoughts in the comment section below about everything we went over today from these brand new spenders being added to pokemon go with the heart and the broken heart let me know which one do you like in the comment section below let me know your thoughts Thoughts on the 10 free Shinnel Stones that you're going to be able to get in game for Pokemon Go. Now, again, you do have to do some battling to get it, but hey, it's 10 free stones. Can't really complain there. And then also, let me know what you think about this Nintendo New York in game Pokemon Day store, this Pokemon Day event that is going to be going on with this Nintendo Treehouse QA and all that. Do you think we're going to be seeing a brand new generation be revealed, or do you think they're going to just go over Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee stuff? Let me know all that in the comment section below peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow on another episode of pokemon news daily like always guys i'm daddy and my friend on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one